Hello and welcome to the session. The given question says, which of the following sentences are statements give reason for your answer? First is, there are 35 days in a month. So first let us learn what is a mathematically acceptable statement. A sentence is called a mathematically acceptable statement if it is either true or false but not both. The first sentence which is given to us is there are 35 days in a month. Now as we can see the maximum number of days in a month is 31. Therefore this sentence is false and thus it is a statement. Therefore our answer is this sentence is always false because the maximum number of days in a month is 31. Therefore, it is a statement. Now let's proceed on to the second part which says mathematics is difficult. Here, this is not a statement since some people find mathematics easy while others find it difficult. Therefore, this sentence can either be true or it can also be false. Therefore, it is not a statement. Therefore, our answer is this sentence is not a statement because for some people Mathematics can be easy and for some others it can be difficult. This completes the second part. And now proceeding on to the third part which says the sum of 5 and 7 is greater than 10. Now the sum of 5 and 7 is equal to 12 and this is greater than 10. Therefore this sentence is always true and thus it is a statement. Thus our answer is This sentence is always true because the sum is 12 and it is greater than 10. Therefore, it is a statement. This completes the third part. Proceeding on to the next part which says, the square of a number is an even number. Now first let us take an odd number. 3 is an odd number. And its square which is 3 square is equal to 9, which is also an odd number. So this contradicts the sentence that the square of a number is an even number since square of 3 is an odd number. Therefore, this sentence is 
not true. Also, if we suppose an even number, then its square, which is equal to 2 square, is 4 and this is an even number. Thus we see that square of an even number is an even number and a square of an odd number is an odd number. Therefore, our answer is this sentence is sometimes true and sometimes not true. For example, as we have done above, the square of 2 is even number and the square of 3 is an odd number. Therefore, this sentence is not a statement. Since this sentence is sometimes true and sometimes not true. So this completes the D part. The next part says the sides of a quadrilateral have equal length. So this is sentence is also sometimes true and sometimes false. Because the sides of a square and rhombus are of equal length and the sides of rectangle trapezium have unequal length. Therefore, it is not a statement. Let us write it down. For example, squares and rhombus have equal length and rectangles trapezium have unequal length. Therefore, it is not a statement. So, this completes the E part also. Now proceeding on to the next part which says answer this question. Now it is an order and is therefore not a statement. Proceeding on to the Next part, which says the product of minus 1 and 8 is 8. Now, on multiplying minus 1 with 8, we get minus 8, not 8. Therefore, this sentence is false and thus it is a statement. Let us write it down. This sentence is false as the product of minus 1 and 8 is 
minus 8. Therefore, it is a statement. So, this completes it. Next part says, the sum of all interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Now, we know that sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Therefore, this sentence is always true and therefore, it is a statement. Now proceeding on to the next part which says, today is a windy day. Now, since windy day is a relative term, there are no fixed parameters to call a day to be a windy day. Moreover, it is not known from the context which day is referred to. Therefore, we cannot say whether the sentence is true or false. Therefore, it is not a statement. As we can see, it is not clear from the context Which day is referred and therefore it is not a statement. Now proceeding on to the last part which says all real numbers are complex numbers. Now from the theory of numbers we know that the set of real numbers is a proper subset of the set of complex numbers. That is all the real numbers x can be written as x plus iota into 0 and this is a complex number. Thus all the real numbers are complex number is a true sentence and therefore it is a statement. So our answer is this is a true sentence because all real numbers can be written in the form a plus iota into 0. So, this completes the last part. Hope you have understood the question well. Take care and bye for now.